hatred. We are having a suspected solution. We want to test whether it is a nitrate. Now, the requirement to test for a nitrate, you require concentrated sulfuric acid, then you require freshly prepared iron 2 sulfate. The reason why it is fresh, you leave it, it will be oxidized to iron 3. So it must be fresh. Then you require a boiling tube. Then you require droppers. Because we don't want to mix. So what I'll do, I'll replace my suspected nitrate. This now this I will say make a solution of suspected nitrate and place it in a test tube. So I have put in my suspected and this is what we are having. So my suspected nitrate is in a solution. It's in a test tube. Then second, add freshly prepared ion 2 sulfate. So this is fresh. I'm adding freshly prepared ion 2 sulfate. Then, hold in a slanting manner. You hold slanting. Mm. Now, while it is slanting, you add sulfuric acid, not direct, but through the side. They are saying, uh, in a slanting position, and a carefully add concentrated sulfuric acid down the side. So I add sulfuric acid. Now, you see down the side. Now you see down here, we, we are having, uh, this is a ring. I'll do another one. As it settles. I repeat. <laughs> As I said, you add suspected suspected nitrate, then you add freshly prepared iron 2 sulfate, then in a slanting manner, in a slanting position, you add sulfuric acid that is concentrated. So, you carefully add it through the side. Now, when you look at this test tube, down there we have a clear solution. Then, up there we have a ring. We have this, the, the brown. If we compare the two, it's as if we have down here it is clear then we have a ring on top now the ring is what now we were explaining saying that when this reaction takes place when this reaction takes place now you add you have added your uh, your nitrate when you add sulfuric acid it is denser it will settle at the bottom Sulfuric acid settles at the bottom of the two mixture, a mixture of nitrate and a freshly prepared sulfuric acid will go and settle at the bottom because it is denser than the mixture. Now, when now you are going to add sulfuric acid, they form a ring is formed. The ring is formed, as that's why I've said that sulfuric acid meets the two mixture at the junction the junction of the two now this is green 
But now we are having a brown color, a brown ring. That's why I said when sulfuric acid meets, uh, it meets the nitrates at the junction, a reaction occurs and the nitric acid is formed. So we are forming nitric acid. Then nitric acid oxidizes the ion two to ion three. When nitric acid is oxidizing, itself is reduced to nitrogen one oxide, two oxide I mean, sorry, water and oxygen. This nitrogen two oxide dissolves in the remaining ion two sulfate, forming a brown ring which is nitroso two sulfate. That's now the brown ring that is formed. So two important points of this lesson. That you have a mixture of freshly prepared ion 2 sulfate, concentrated sulfuric acid, and the suspected nitrate. The reason why we do it in a slanting manner, you add sulfuric acid direct, it will sprout out, it will just explode. We must add slowly in a slanting manner. So, it will just repair uh, you. So, we add. Yeah, I told you, to <laughs> But you are the same They will not say that it is. They say, See, you know, already we have a name out there. Yeah. Yeah. We have a very good name. They will say, yeah. Tena, Tena, now, <laughs> Tena. They will say like that. But sulfuric acid is always added when the, this is in something so that it can go slowly. Then, so what you'll be asked in an exam, explain the brown ring. Is ion 2 nitroso? Then the brown color, it is this one being this green, this brown. Is there a question? If the <laughs>